Hi, I'm Dr. Romano, Professor of Organic Chemistry in New York, and I'm here today with Professor Louis Blois. He's a mathematician, and he's going to show us how to do some really solid word problems to help you for the DOT exam and the OAT exam. All right, Professor, show us what you got. Okay, let's do some of these problems here, and let's go right, I'll jump into, these are problems that involve proportions, constants of proportionality. If the degree measurement of the internal angles of a triangle are in the ratio of one to two to three, what is the measure of the smallest angle? Well, let's say x is the constant of proportionality, which means that I have one x plus two x plus three x, each representing one of the angles of the triangle, the internal angles of the triangle. What do the angles of a triangle add up to? 180 degrees. So let's solve for x. 1x plus 2x is 3x plus 3x. That 6x is 180 degrees. Divide both sides by 6. x equals 30 degrees. That's the measure of the smallest angle. And we have solved it. Okay. Now we go to the next one. Very similar, but a little tricky. A little tricky. Jars A, B, and C each contain 10 candies. 10, 10, 10. What is the minimum number of candies that must be transferred among the jars so that the ratio of numbers of candies in the jars is 4 to 5 to 6? All right. Well, originally we had 10 and 10 and 10, but we want this ratio 4 to 5 to 6. Constant of proportionality, we'll assign to x. So we have 4 times x plus 5 times x plus 6 times x equals, what's the total number of candies? 10, 20, 30. 30. Okay, and let's solve for x. 5 plus 4 is 9, plus 6 is 15. 15x equals 30. x is equal to 2. So, if we want the, the proportion 4, 5, 6, how many candies do we need in each of the jars? Well, x is equal to 2, so this will have 4 times 2 is 8, 5 times 2 is 10, and 6 times 2 is 12. So we start out with 10, 10, 10. We want to finish with 8, 10, 12, the 4, 5, 6 ratio. Well, how much the minimum number of candies we need to move? We need to move 2 candies from jar A to jar C. The answer is 2, and that's it. Okay? That was very nice and straightforward. And let's go on to this third problem, which is a little bit of a variation on the same idea. A store ordered equal quantities of red and blue markers. The company shipped 30 extra red markers, making the ratio of red to blue 5 to 4. How many markers did the store originally order? All right, well, we know originally, let's assign the, the variable R for the number of red markers, and B, the number of blue markers. Originally, equal numbers of red and blue. R equals B. However, the company shipped 30 more red markers. So the ratio of those number of markers to the number of blue markers is, as is stated here, 5 to 4. All right. So here we have a, a proportion. And let's solve it by the standard cross multiplication. So this is going to lead us to 5 times B equals 4 times R plus 30, right? Let's distribute that out. 4R plus 120. 5B equals 4R plus 120. Well, we know we can solve this easily. We know that R is equal to B, so let's replace R with B. So this is going to be 5B equals 4B plus 120, which leads us to the solution, subtracting 4B from both sides. B is equal to 120. All right, if B is equal to 120, how, how many markers did the store originally order? R and B. So R plus B. R is 120, and B is 120. The total number of markers that were originally ordered was 240. And there we are, just a little variation on the same idea. Okay, very nice, Professor Blois. I hope you enjoyed that video. These are solid videos, and it'll give you a great idea on how to master the section. See our new edition of the Math Destroyer book. Professor Blois has added many, many new novel type of questions in as well. All right, good day to you. Bye-bye.